everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to improve performance and speed in Minecraft 1.13.2. If you're suffering from lag, this video will fix it right on up for you. But first off, a message from our sponsor, which is Game Servers. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. We absolutely love Game Servers and use them ourselves. Again, that is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this video. So first and foremost, this video is going to be using Optifine, right? Now we have an in-depth tutorial link down below on how to install Optifine. It walks you through every single thing that you need to know. Um, it just, it takes care of everything. So go check out this tutorial, get Optifine installed, and then come back to this video. Once you're here, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. So we are in game for the rest of this video. We don't even have to worry about doing anything else except in Minecraft. Everything we're going to be doing is right in here. And as you can see, we are in 1.13.2. And if we go ahead and click on Options and then go into Video Settings, we can definitely see that Optifine is installed. Now, from this point, I'm going to be assuming that you basically have a horrible computer, a computer that can't even run anything when it comes to Minecraft. I would recommend doing all the settings exactly as I'm going to do them. And then if you want to turn your render distance up or you want to update your graphics and turn them from fast to fancy or whatever, you can do that and test and see how it affects your performance. But if you start with the most optimized settings ever, you're not going to have any issues, right? You know it's going to work and then from there you can tweak it. So let's go ahead and get this done. First and foremost, we'll just start in the top left with graphics up here. We want to turn those to fast. Render distance, turn that all the way down to tiny. This is most likely the only thing I would recommend really changing once we're done with this. You can maybe update it to, you know, 8 or something like that. I wouldn't recommend doing like insane. But go ahead, turn it all the way down and then smooth lighting needs to be off. Max frame rate, we're going to leave that at unlimited. If you have like random jerks and stuff, you could limit this down to 60 FPS, but I'm going to leave it at unlimited so we know how much FPS we're going to be getting. And actually, let's go ahead and see what our baseline FPS is by joining our server here, play.breakdowncraft.com. So we go ahead, launch on in here. I'll be able to hit F3 and see what our settings are in game. So join in, hit F3, and we can see up in the top left that our FPS is currently at 150, 30 FPS, somewhere in there. You see that? It's fluctuating on the high end, 200, on the low end, 70 to 50 FPS, even dropping as low as 20 FPS at some points. So let's go ahead and optimize that. So if we go back to the main menu here, and then go ahead and jump into options and then video settings. Graphics fast, render distance all the way down, and smooth lighting off. Now, for max frame rate, unlimited, smooth lighting level, turn that all the way down to off. View bobbing doesn't affect performance. I personally have it off because I don't like it. If you like it, you can leave it on. GUI scale, in theory, you want to turn the GUI scale to this, which is one, is what it is on the thing. And it's going to be very, very, very small GUI, and that's going to be the most performance optimized. But uh, I don't know about you, I can't really see that. And this is a video about these settings, so you need to be able to see them. So I'm going to turn them back all the way up. Use VBOs needs to be on. On, brightness, it doesn't matter, doesn't affect performance. Attack indicator also doesn't affect performance, but it's kind of cool to move it around if uh, you want to. Dynamic lights, those need to be off. Dynamic FOV, that needs to be off. Shaders, these definitely need to be off, right? Most likely if you've just installed Optifine, you won't have any shaders installed, but if you do, turn those off. Then we need to go over here to quality, and when we open that up, minimap levels needs to be turned all the way down. It is going to lag when you turn it all the way down, so don't freak out. There we go. Minimap type, nearest, androscopic filtering off, anti-aliasing off, and then as you can see, everything else on this page needs to be off. Literally, everything. Turn it off. Then click done. Now we can go over to details here. And same thing here. Everything needs to, needs to be off, like clouds. Cloud hide off also, by the way. Or it needs to be on fast, right? We can't turn trees off, so we want to make them fast. Rain and snow, though, you can turn off. Sky, you can. Stars, off. Sun and moon, off. Everything else, fog, off. Fog start, doesn't matter. You've turned fog off. But if you turn it down to 0.2, that's going to be the fastest. Dropped items needs to be fast. Entity shadows needs to be off. Vignette needs to be fast, alternative blocks needs to be off, swamp colors off, and then bio blend off as well. Click done there and then come over to performance. Now in the performance tab, I would recommend turning on smooth FPS because most likely you want your FPS to be silky smooth. But we're going to leave it off for now so we can see what our FPS actually goes up to. If we turn on smooth FPS, guess what? It's not going to... Uh, give us a high FPS at the end, right? It'll smooth it out to probably a cool like 120-ish frames where with this, it'll bump it up quite a bit. However, if you are having like peak lag and stuff like that, like randomly lag spikes, 
turn smooth FPS on. Smooth World, same thing. I would recommend turning that on, but it's going to stabilize our FPS, and we don't want that right now. Fast rendering, though, does need to be turned on. Fast math needs to be turned on. Chunk updates needs to be one. Dynamic updates needs to be on. This one's actually really cool. It's going to load the world around you while you're standing still and load less of the world while you're moving to uh, improve FPS. Render regions needs to be on. Lazy chunk loading needs to be on. And smart animations needs to be on. Once we've done that, go ahead and click done. And then we've got animations here. This one's very easy. Just click all off in the bottom left. See that where it says all off right next to all on? You want to click all off and everything should turn to off. Then click done. Now we need to go into other here. And in here, there's not really much we want to do. We want to make sure show FPS is on. That way you know what the FPS is. And everything else can kind of be left the same. Weather needs to be turned off, but that's only going to affect single player worlds. Same thing for time here. I would recommend doing day only. However, I like night time in Minecraft because of mod mobs and stuff so yeah leave that default most likely full screen i would recommend turning full screen off the smaller minecraft is on your computer the less resources is going to be taking up i would recommend playing it at like 1280 by 720 at least you could play it smaller though if you want and uh yeah it's really up to you as far as the size of minecraft but know that making minecraft smaller will improve your performance Auto save three minutes is what I typically leave this at because I can lose, lose three minutes of work in Minecraft. What I can't do is lose 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. So I would recommend go ahead and up that to three minutes and then you'll be good there. Screenshot size doesn't matter. What was that? I just like vomited those words out. Screenshot size doesn't matter. Show GL errors, we'll leave that on. Or actually, I'm going to turn this off because I know of a GL error in Minecraft, like Optifine, and uh, it doesn't affect performance. It's just annoying. So I'm going to turn that off. And then we go ahead and click done here. Now everything is basically set up, except for one thing. We want to go into resource packs here and turn off our texture pack. Now some may say, Nick, you can run a texture pack that actually optimizes Minecraft. It makes it faster. Yes and no. On the same token that you can make Minecraft faster with a texture pack, you're also giving Minecraft more to do, right? It's still loading the underlying textures. The reason for that is because if a texture, right, doesn't have anything, like a texture pack doesn't have a grass block in it, it will use the default grass block. So by installing a texture pack, in theory, you could help performance, but most of the time you're not because that default texture pack is still being loaded underneath. So let's go ahead and click done with no texture pack. It'll reload Minecraft as it takes away our texture pack there. There we go. And now we can click done and click on multiplayer. We're going to log into play.breakdowncraft.com. The awesome, bestest, incredible, I don't even know what those words were, but the best Minecraft 1.13.2 server out there. It's God Survival, Skyblock launches in this month. So uh, come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. All the information is in the description down below. Just type it into your uh, ad server here. Type in play.breakdowncraft.com, click done, and then double click on it. Boom, there you go. Let's see what our FPS is up to, though. I'm guessing we will see pretty good improvements here, and we have. Holy crap. We can look up here in the uh, top left and see that we are now standing still, getting 300 FPS in the high end. It was at 400 when we first joined in before I moved. And on the low end, we're getting around 200 to 150 FPS. Now, let's see when we move around. This will obviously drop it as we load in new chunks and things like that happen. But overall, we're seeing a pretty stable FPS even as we move around, which is pretty cool. Because that's really when you see like FPS drops and stuff. I should have done that on the front end, moved around some, but I didn't, so oh well. But there we go. As you can see, all is well. There are just... Um, I feel like I was just pranked, and I... Okay, we're just going to go back down here now. But our FPS is pretty good there, and uh, I'll call that a win. Everything's silky smooth with absolutely no lag whatsoever. So, yeah, there you guys have it, and look at that. Now we're getting 600 FPS on the high end and 200 on the low end. 700 on the high end, 200 on the low end. I will take that as a win. And uh, 300 on the low end, yeah, so there we go. I don't think there's any denying that this is optimized, and I guarantee if we were to join into a single-player world, we would be hitting the thousands with our FPS. But nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to post in the comment section down below what your FPS is after you've done the optimization. I would love to see it. I want to see somebody hitting 1,500, 2,000 FPS. I know it can be done. Can you do it? If not, that's fine. 60 FPS, 30 FPS is actually playable in Minecraft. But nevertheless, guys, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.